Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna talk about configuring a spa pack. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so it's kind of an essential video. It's probably not the most exciting video that I've got on my channel, but I do have lots of videos. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Hit me up in the comments if you've got any questions, give me a like, and of course, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get the notifications when I release my videos, which I do two times a week for the long form, and I'm also putting lots of shorts out there as well, so there's loads and loads of free content available all around building your own hot tubs and plunge pools. Okay, so configuring a spa pack. So you, you've just received your spa pack, Perhaps you've got it from me, or perhaps you've you know you purchased a new one to replace an existing one. They're gonna need configuring. They do not work out of the box. You can't just put the cables in and expect them to work. So what do we need to do? Well, I'm gonna talk generically because obviously there's lots of different brands out there. So I'm not gonna give you exact instructions. If you do need help with a Balboa or an ACC, then please do hit me up in the comments, get in touch. I'm uh, pretty good with those particular packs. Other brands, you're probably better off going to the manufacturer, but I can always try and help, of course. So first things first, you're gonna need to set the voltage. Now, if you are in Europe, then the chances are you're on 230 volts anyway, or 240. So the spa packs for the European market already have the voltage set. However, the spa packs for the American market do not. Generally, they are shipping in a 115 volt configuration. So what does that mean? Well, it means that if you've got a heater inside, it's only gonna work at the fraction of the actual heat or fraction of the power that's available. So if you've got, for example, a five and a half kilowatt heater, the chances are at 115 volts, you'll only get about 1.4 kilowatts out of it. Now that's not the only problem. A bigger problem is if you plug a 230 volt pump into a 115 volt configured spa pack, you are gonna drive crazy amounts of amps through that pump and it's gonna get super, super hot. Do that for a long period of time, you're gonna burn the thing out. So you must set the voltage for the kit that you've got. Now, the chances are, if you have a jet pump, then it's gonna be 230 volts. So you will need to make use of your split system. You're gonna have four cables, so your line one, your line two, your neutral, and your ground coming in from your breaker box into that spar pack. Now, the spar pack then converts that into three wires so live, neutral, and ground, that's then gonna go over to your blower. Again, if that's 230 volts, and over to your pump. If you have a dual speed pump, it will be four cables, one for high speed, one for low speed, and then the neutral on the ground. If you have a single speed 230 volt pump, it will still be three cables. Now, a common misconception is that because it's 230 volts, you're gonna need four individual cables to it. On a hot tub, that's not the case, okay? So first thing with the spa pack, you've got to get that voltage right. The voltage has to match the kit that you're connecting it to. Otherwise, you're gonna run into overheating parts and potentially damage. Uh, it's really not a good thing. So just get that voltage set. There's normally either a dip switch or a cable to move over to a different position, a jumper, read the manual, it will tell you how to set that voltage. So that's the first thing. The second thing you've got to do with the spa pack is tell it what you're connecting to it. It does not know. So what do I mean? Well, if for example, you have a circulation pump, you have maybe two single speed jet pumps, and you have a blower, then you need to tell it that that is what you are connecting to it. How do you tell it? Well, normally this is done in a, a setup menu, it's a, a configuration menu, and certainly on the Balboa side of things, 
you've got to put it into a setup mode and then you've got to go through on the top side to choose the actual setup that's going to work for you. So you've got to look in the manual. Again, I know we all hate looking at manuals, but it's really important because your kit just won't work if the spar pack doesn't know what's connected. It doesn't have a way of detecting what's connected to it. You have to tell it. So you've got to tell it, it's got a circulation pump. It's got you know a one or a two speed jet pump. It's got a blower. Look for that configuration. There'll be a table normally either in the manual or, or on the inside of the spa pack itself. You've got to configure it for the right kit. Otherwise what happens when you press the buttons, they don't do what they say they're gonna do or they don't do what you're expecting them to. And that's just because you haven't configured the right setup. Also, if you haven't got the right configuration set up, the chances are your filter cycles and your purge cycles won't actually work correctly. So again, check what you're connecting and check that you've got the right setup for the right kit that is connected to your spar pack. And lastly, with your spar pack, careful what you're connecting to it. What do I mean by that? Well, if you've watched any of the previous videos on this channel, maybe some of my early videos where I was explaining how I've created my own hot tub, I actually talked a lot about blowing control boards. And the control boards I was blowing were inside of the spa pack. And what I was doing was I was putting a light on there that was drawing too much current and it was burning out the boards. I didn't know what I was doing and it was extremely expensive. At nearly 300 bucks a time, you can imagine that uh, it was burning a hole in my pocket. So be really, really careful what you are connecting to the connectors inside of that spar pack. Check the ratings, check the current drawers, and again, you've got to read that manual. It's, I know it's something that we don't like doing, but it's there for a reason, and it will tell you exactly what kind of a load you can put on each of those inputs. Hopefully, you found this short video useful. Hopefully, it will save you some money without damaging any of the kit, the spar pack, the pumps that you're actually configuring it. Biggest tip, you've probably guessed it, read the manual for the spa pack that you're getting. Of course, if I can help you in any way with configuring your spa pack, get in touch. Always happy to hear from you. If I can help you with the design of your own hot tub, again, hit me up in the comments, get in touch via builderhottub.com. Love to hear from you. Hope you found this video useful and I'll see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.